yes, uh, the Sainter, yes. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> for those that are sheriffs, yes. Mm -hmm. And those in school districts, yes. Mm -hmm. When I communicate with an individual that has an email address, mm -hmm. I know what the law allows me to do, yes. It allows me to document forgery and fraud, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It allows for me to document when children are kidnapped, yes. It allows for me, yes, to make sure that I inform law enforcement when I have knowledge of a crime. Now, if the sheriff actually did take an email that I emailed to the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department <laughs> and showed it to the petitioner, there was no intent on my part that she should have any knowledge of the email. The restraint provisions, yes, would mean that I personally emailed her, yes, mm -hmm. I tried to call her or went to her place of work, yes, or I arranged for a third party that I asked to communicate with the petitioner or the minors named, yes. There was no intent on my part to communicate with the petitioner or the five minors named. Now, I'm going to want to know, yes, mm-hmm. Who it was that said an email sent by Mr. Budnick, yes, on Friday, June 16th, 2017, to numerous recipients, including people at Heidi Budnick's workplace. <laughs> that implies that one of the individuals at Heidi Budnick's workplace, yes, uh, did receive an email from me and that they were actual employees of that workplace. <laughs> Now, if somebody drove there mm -hmm. taking an email that I sent to them from a different location or a different employer, yes, with the intent of explaining that I was demanding of them to remove the forgery and fraud, <laughs> they have intentionally moral turpitude. For every person that's ever gotten an email from me, chief of police. <laughs> it was never my intention that you would drive over there and show her what I was saying. Demanding that someone remove or that you remove your forgery and fraud. <laughs> now, uh, the attachments, yes. Um, you know, <laughs> If I was to violate the restraint provisions, any of the six of them, yes, it would be because I intended to communicate with the petitioner and the five minors named. That would not mean that I was intending to communicate with you with the intention that you don't communicate with her. <coughs> now, unless you did see in the email that I personally wanted you to go and talk to the... <coughs>